Hello and welcome to the most awaited FTR 3.0 by competition community, especially for English medium students. My name is Pokhraz Giri and in this FTR session, I'll be dealing with Chhattisgarh General Studies. But before starting with the questions, let me tell you that we at competition community, we are organizing weekly tests for you people, which will be held actually on every Sunday at 11 a.m. So what you people have to do to write the test, you people have to actually enroll yourselves by Friday evening on our website. So this was all about the announcement and now let's start with the questions. Now let me also tell you that in this FTR session, we will actually be dealing with the medieval history of Chhattisgarh and this is actually the part one of the medieval history of Chhattisgarh in which we will be actually dealing with Kalchuri dynasty and their administration. So let's start with the questions now. So we have a first question and it actually says match the columns wherein in the first column we have rulers and in the second column we have the construction works which were done by them. So the first ruler we have is Ratnadev 1, second we have Gopal Dev, third we have Vikrama Ditya and fourth we have Jajal Dev 1. What are the construction works that we have? We have Bhoram Dev temple, we have Vishnu temple, we have Mahamaya temple and we have Shiv temple. Now solving this question with the help of a map. First of all, let us understand this Ratnadev 1 actually belonged to the Kalchuri dynasty and he was the son of Kamal Dev. He was the only person who actually made Ratanpur as his capital and in Ratanpur only he got the famous Maha Maya temple built in the 11th century. So, in Ratanpur of this Bilaspur district, Ratnadev got the Mahamaya temple built. Now, let's move to Kabirdham. So, in this Kabirdham district, there is a village known as Chora. And in this Chora village is situated the famous Bhoram Dev Temple. And this Bhoram Dev Temple was actually built during the reign of Gopal Dev. This Gopal Dev belonged to the Fani Nag dynasty. And let me tell you, Lakshman Dev Rai actually built this temple. So it was built during the reign of Gopal Dev. However, the temple was built by Lakshman Dev Rai. Now, in this Korba district, we have a city known as Pali. And in this Pali, is situated the famous Mahadev temple and this Mahadev temple was actually built by Vikrama Ditya of Baan dynasty. So this famous Mahadev temple of Pali was built by the king Vikramaditya of Baan dynasty. We have the city Janjgir. This city was also built by or I should say populated by Jajaladev one, another Kalchuri ruler who was actually the son of Kalchuri ruler Prithvi Dev first. Now this Jajal Dev got the famous Vishnu temple of Janjgir built during his time. So we have Vishnu temple of Janjgir was built by I should say or I can say by ruler Jajal Dev. 
Ratnadev got this Mahamaya temple built and King Vikramaditya got this Mahadev temple or the Shiv temple of Pali built. And finally, during the reign of Gopal Dev of Fani Nag dynasty in the Chura village of this Kabir Dham district, this Bhoram Dev temple was built by Lakshman Dev Rai. So now coming back to the question, we can actually match Ratnadev with Mahamaya temple. Gopal Dev with Bhoram Dev temple, Vikramaditya with Shiv temple and Jajal Dev with Vishnu temple. So the pairs that we have are A3, then we have B1, then we have C4 and we have D2. So we have A3, B1, C4 and D2. Now looking at the options, in the option number A itself we have this A3, B1, C4 and D2 and hence option A is the correct option for this question number 1. So this was all about question number 1. Now let's move to the question number 2. So once again we have rulers and we have cities and we have to do what? We have to match the columns. So, in the rulers, we have Ratnadev, we also have Jajaladev, we have Raj Singh and we have Ramchandra Dev. Now, in the cities which were populated by some of these rulers, we have Raipur, we have Ratanpur, we have Janjgir and we have Juna. Now, I have already told you in question number one that Ratnadev 1 actually populated Ratanpur. And I also told you Jajal Dev 1 populated Jansgir. So Ratna Dev 1 populated Ratanpur and Jajal Dev 1 populated the city Jansgir. Let me also tell you that this city Raipur was populated by Ram Chandra Dev who happened to be once again a Kalchuri ruler but from the Raipur branch. And I'll also tell you this Raipur was further made as capital by Brahmadev Rai who was actually the son of King Ramchandra Dev. And finally this Juna was actually populated by Raj Singh. Let me also tell you that this Raj Singh, when he populated Juna, he named it as Rajpur and this was very near to Ratan. Now it is known as Juna, however at that time it was known as Rajpur and it is very near to Ratanpur. So with Ratnadev we can match Ratanpur, with Jajaladev we can match Janjgir, with Raj Singh Juna can be matched and with Ramchandradev Raipur can be matched. So the pairs that we have are A2, B3, C4 and D1. A2, B3, C4 and D1. Looking at the options, in the option number B itself, we have this A2, B3, C4 and D1 and hence option number B is going to be the correct option for this question number 2. Now moving on to the question number 3. It says which of the following related to the cultural rulers and their capitals is not correctly matched. So, let me tell you about the capitals of this Kalchuri dynasty. So, I should say there were four capitals. However, the fifth one is disputed. So, the four are first Tumman, then Ratanpur, then Khallari and Raipur. So, this is the map of Chhattisgarh. So, when I talk about the first capital of this Kalchuri dynasty, it was Tumman. So, when this 
कल्चुरी रूल वॉज सेट अप इन छत्तीसगढ़ देयर फर्स्ट कैपिटल वॉज तुम्हार एंड द रियल फाउंडर ऑफ दिस रूल वॉज कलिंग राज हाउ एवर हिस सन कमल राज ऑल्सो रूल्ड फ्रॉम दिस कैपिटल तुम्हार ओनली आफ्टर तुम्हार कमल राज सन रत्न देव फर्स्ट ही एक्चुअली ट्रांसफर्ड द कैपिटल टू रतन पुर सो रतन पुर इज सिटुएटेड इन दिलासपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ सो टिल नाउ वी सीन टू कैपिटल फर्स्ट वॉज तुम्हार एंड सेकेंड वॉज दिस रतनपुर नाउ वॉट एक्चुअली हैपन्स Many of these rulers from the Kalchuri dynasty, right from Ratna Dev one, would actually rule from this Ratanpur, and we actually come across a ruler, Pratap Mal, who would rule till one triple two, and suddenly for next three hundred years, we don't find. any reference of this kalchuri dynasty which is referred as dark age and just after this dark age we find a record from this kos gai in the korba district and this record is actually of the king baharendra sai or bahar sai now regarding this kosgai actually being the capital there is a dispute among the historians some of them think that this actually was the capital of baharendra sai while the others think that baharendra sai ruled from ratanpur only so this kosgai being capital is still disputed next it was during this dark age only that one branch of this ratanpur settled at khallari in the mahasamund district and thus khallari became the third capital of this kalchuri dynasty and finally this capital was shifted from khallari to raipur by brahma dev rai who actually made raipur his capital and thus raipur became the fourth capital of kalchuris so we have four capitals of this kalchuri dynasty and the fifth one is still disputed now coming back to the question so we already saw that kaling raj's capital was tumar so this is correctly matched secondly kamal raj the capital is khallari is it right no it is not right because i already told you that kaling raj and kamal raj both ruled with the capital tumar so the second is wrong third i told you brahmadev rai did make raipur his capital so third one is also right fourth i told you this ratnadev made ratanpur his capital that means fourth statement is also correct now we have to tell which of the pairs is not correctly matched so we have seen this second one is not correctly matched looking at the options in the option number a itself we have only two and hence a is going to be the correct option for this question number 3 now we have a fourth question which of the following kings and their achievements is not correctly matched first king is kaling raj now regarding kaling raj i should say that he actually was the real founder of this kalchuri rule in chatisgarh he did what he actually established his capital at tumar and thus he started ruling this area i should say chatisgarh with the capital tumar so we have to tell which are not correctly matched 
So regarding Kaling Raj, we know he established his capital at Tumman, and hence this statement is correctly matched. Now, statement number B. Jajal Dev II defeated Tripuri ruler Gayakarna. So let me tell you a very brief story. So first king was Kaling Raj. Then it was Kamal Raj, who was son of Kaling Raj. Then it was Ratnadev one who was the son of Kamal Raj. Then there was this Prithvidev one who was the son of Ratnadev one. And there was this Jajal Dev who was the son of Prithvidev one. And after Jajal Dev, there was Ratnadev second who was the son of Jajal Dev one. So when we study this Kalchuri dynasty all together, right from Kaling Raj, Kamal Raj, then Ratna Dev, then Prithvi Dev, we come across a fact that somewhere down the line, these people actually ruled Chhattisgarh as not the independent kings. Or I should say they ruled Chhattisgarh under their main branch of Tripuri. If we look at this Kalchuri rule, so, they were actually based at Tripuri and the Lahuri branch of this Tripuri ruled Chhattisgarh. So, I should say that from Kaling Raj, Kamal Raj, Ratnadev and Prithvi Dev, they were actually ruling under the subjection of this Tripuri branch. However, when it came to Jajal Dev, he actually refused this subjection. And after Jajal Dev, his son Ratna Dev II also refused the subjection. So, looking at this, the then ruler of Tripuri, Gaya Karna, actually attacked Ratna Dev II. However, Gayakarn was badly defeated. So, coming back to the question, Gayakarn was actually defeated by Ratnadev II and not Jajaladev II. So, this option B is actually not correctly matched. Now, regarding this ruler Prithvidev II, let me tell you, he was actually the ruler, he was actually the culturally ruler of whom we have maximum records. And Jagatpal was his noble. And this Jagatpal actually renovated the Rajiv Lochan temple of Raji. Not only did Jagatpal renovated this Rajiv Lochan temple, he also won over Kanker Sarang Gad and Barsur for his king Prithvidev. So, we can say that it was during the rule of Prithvidev II that the Kalchuri rule had its maximum extension of the area. So, we can say that it is correct. Regarding Ratnadev III, he re-established the glory and peace in the Kalchuri rule. So, regarding this Ratnadev III, let me tell you a very small story. So, there was this king known as Jajal Dev III in this Kalchuri dynasty. His reign is actually said to be from 1165 to 1168. And it was only after the death of Jajal Dev III that a sort of instability was created in the Kalchuri rule. However, from 1168 to 1178, Elder brother of Jajal Dev III, Jagat Dev became the ruler and he tried to contain the situation. However, it was his son Ratnadev III who 
truly reestablish the glory and peace in the Kalchuri Empire. So, the fact regarding Ratnadev III is absolutely correct that he reestablished the glory and peace in the Kalchuri Empire. Now, looking back at the question, what was actually asked? It was asked which is not correctly matched. So, we have already seen option number B is not correctly matched. Hence, this option number B is going to be the correct option for the fourth question. Next, we have a fifth statement in which we have to tell which of the statements is are true. Now, in the first statement, we have maximum records of the Kalchuri dynasty are that of Prithvidev first. I have already told you in question number four that the maximum records of this Kalchuri dynasty are that of Prithvidev second and hence this statement is going to be incorrect. Now next we have the second statement Ratnadev 1 was the first Kalchuri ruler to circulate gold coins. Let me tell you it was Jajaladev 1 who for the first time circulated the gold coins in this Kalchuri dynasty. However Ratnadev 2nd who was the son of Jajaladev and Prithvidev 2nd who was the son of Ratnadev second. These were the three rulers who actually circulated gold coins in the Kalchuri dynasty. So this statement is going to be incorrect that Ratnadev was the first Kalchuri ruler to circulate gold coins. It was actually Jajaladev. And the third statement says that Rajiv Lochan temple was renovated by Jagatpal. We have already seen in question number four that it was renovated by Jagatpal. So we have to tell which of the statements is are true. So, in the options, we have option number C, which says that only 3 is true and hence option number C is going to be the correct option for this question number 5. Now, we have a question number 6. Which of the following Kalchuri rulers had circulated coins? In the earlier question, we have seen Jajaladev 1, Prithvidev 2nd and Ratnadev 2nd did circulate gold coins and hexagonal coins. was circulated by Pratapman. So actually we can see all of these four kings had circulated coins. When I tell you gold coins, it is not like that, that they circulated only gold coins. I am telling you about gold coins because it has specifically been asked in You see that which of the Kalchuri rulers did circulate gold coins. So we can see all the four rulers had circulated coins. So what is going to be the correct option? The correct option has to be option number D which says 1, 2, 3 and 4. Hence option number D is the correct option for this question number 6. Now next we have the seventh question. Arrange the capitals of Kalchuri dynasty as per their timeline. So in the explanation part of the earlier questions we have already seen that Tumman was the first capital. Next was Ratanpur. Then a branch settled at Khallari and made Khallari as capital and finally Raipur was made capital by Brahmadev Rai. So the sequence would be 1, 2, 3 and 4 which is actually mentioned in the option number A and hence option A is going to be the correct option for this question number 7. Now we move on to question number 8. In the question number 8, we have matched the culturally rulers and the records related to them. In the list number 1, we have rulers and in the list number 2, we have records. In the list number 1, we have rulers, Prithvidev 1, we have Ratnadev 2, we have Baharendra Sai and we have Pratap. In the records, we have Akal Tara inscriptions, we have Pendra Band copper plate inscription, we have Amoda copper plate and we have Kosgai inscription. So, I have already told you that this Kosgai inscription is related to Bahrendra Sai. Talking about Prithvidev 1, Prithvidev 1 is related to the Amoda copper plate and in this Amoda copper plate, it is mentioned that he was the master of 21,000 villages. So, Prithvidev 1 is related to Amoda copper plate. And Baharendra Sai is related to Kosgai inscription just after the Dark Age. Talking about Pratapmal, 
we have three copper plate inscriptions related to the tapmal and they are pendraband konari and bilaigad so by this we come to know that pratap mal is related to this pain robin copper plate inscription and regarding this ratnadev second we get four records related to ratnadev second from akal tara shivri narayan para gaon and sarkho so by this we know that ratnadev second is related to akaltara inscription so when forming pairs we get 1 c we get 2 a 3 d and 4 b looking at the options in the option number d we have 1 c 2 a 3 d and 4 b which actually matches with the pairs that we have generated and hence option number d is going to be the correct option for this question number 8 now we have a ninth question once again it is match the columns in the list number 1 we have the culture officers and in the list number 2 we have head of the departments so in list number 1 in the culture officers we have mahapratihar we have mahasandhi vigrahak then we have dand pashik and we have gamagamik let me tell you this mahapratihar was actually the head of department of communications mahasandhi vigrahak was the foreign minister dand pashik was actually the chief police officer and gamagamik was the traffic officer so the pairs that we have are 1 c 2 d 3 b and 4 a now let's try and match these pairs with the options that we have in the option number d we can see this 1 c 2 d 3 b and 4 a which actually is identical to the pairs that we have generated and hence option number d is going to be the correct option for this question number 9 and now we move on to the final question of this video so in the 10th question we have choose the correct statements related to the kalchuri regime in the first statement it says in kalchuri period establishment of local self government was there yes local self government was actually known as panchkul now this panchkul actually consisted of 5 to 10 members these members were known as mahattar while the chief member was known as mahattam so local self government in form of panchkuls was existent in the kalchuri period and hence this statement is correct in the second statement we have gad was a unit of administration which was a group of 86 villages now talking about the administrative structure which was prevalent during this kalchuri age so one administrative unit was known as mandal which is said to be consisting of 1 lakh villages next was gad gad consisted of 84 villages next was barho barho consisted of 12 villages and the smallest unit of administration was gram so 12 gram made a barho 84 grams or villages that means 7 and the smallest unit of administration was gram so 12 gram made a barho 84 four 
ग्राम्स और विलेजेस दैट मीन्स सेवन बरहो मेड अप दिस गढ़ so gadh was actually an administrative unit it is correct but it consisted of 84 villages and not 86 villages and hence this statement number 2 is going to be incorrect now we have a third statement the basis of land size was the number of times a plow was used for the field so statement in itself is correct but it was actually during the maratha rule that this number of plows was actually used for the purpose of land measurement and in this question we have to tell the statements which are correct only for this kalchuri regime so according to the kalchuri regime it is incorrect however it is correct for the marathas so now we have that one was correct but two and three were incorrect so we have to find an option which says that only statement number 1 is correct which is actually your option number a which says only one is correct so in this manner we have dealt 10 some of the most conceptual and important questions from this kalchuri dynasty and their administration i'll be back in my next video with the remaining part of the medieval history of chatisgarh so i hope you people would have liked my video and i will meet you guys in my next video tab tak ke liye thank you and take care cgpsc ki sampurna taiyari ke liye competition community ke youtube channel ko subscribe kijiye aur daily updates ke liye bell icon ko press karna na bhule